All right. In the last video, we have seen how to generate Cucumber HTML report, right? Okay. So there is a problem that we have seen in the report that everything is coming properly with no issues. But see here, whatever we are attaching is coming as an attachment, right? So yeah, of course, sometimes we want to attach few files and all that's fine. But whatever we are logging, especially the basic information, right? That is also getting appended as an attachment. Okay. So there is a reason why it is happening. Okay. So when you doing for this particular log, okay. So that is getting added as a text and internally it is going to be text cucumber.log.plane. This is the format is getting appended. So to make it compatible with this report, we have to make some changes. It, it is very simple. We have to replace this dot log with the this dot attach. Okay. Because in the this dot attach also, it will also take the data in the text format as well. Okay. So what we are going to do? Control H, find out this and replace with the this dot attached. In which file? Hook file or core lib dot spec dot file. Let us replace. Now the replace replacement is done in this page. Like this, we have to replace in some places. Okay. Let's go to the base page. Okay. Base page. Let us not touch the variable name, but here instead of I create log, we have one more class we have that is nothing but a I create attachment. This type we have to change it in the base page. Okay, so that we are attaching the attachments, not the log. We are not changing the name, do not confuse with the this dot log and this log. Okay, so you can change it if you want. You can make it as a logger, attachment, whatever you want. You can change the name, that will not be a problem. Base page is done. Go to your home page. Home page, this will give you the error because the above is I create attachment. Here it is, here it is not right. So it is going to be I create attachment. We are good over here. Same thing, go to login page. It is going to be I create attachment. This is done. Go back to your home page, spec file, and we have to pass the attach, not the log. Similar case, attach. And wherever you see anywhere, this dot log and mark it as a attached. Same thing here also, it should be this dot attach. Now this should be replace this dot log with the this dot attach. We have replaced everywhere now. We have replaced everywhere now. Just to double check. This dot attached. One second, this dot log. That should be fine. Okay. So now let us try to run the program now and see what will happen. Okay. So we can delete existing files or not. It's not a mandatory. Let me delete this, close this, and come back to here. CLS and run the program. NPM test hyphen hyphen env qa okay so now this time the report contains the information not in the form of attachments okay so make sure that we are going to pass it as a i create attachment not with the i create lag remember that okay so let us run so anyway it is running one pass one fail Right. First scenario is done. Second is going on. Okay, now it is generating the report. Okay, it is generated. Go back here. Open this bootstrap. HTML report. Now you could see. Scroll down. Scroll down. And show the information. You are able to see. Now it is getting attached as a, a simple text. You look at this. When you click here, it will display a pop up like this and it will give you the, all the information, right? You ent enter the value, this and this detailed information, what is happening at the granular level, right? Like this screenshot also gets attached. Everything, if it is failing, everything it will be attached. This is a past scenario. However, the fail scenario, same thing. You could see error message. 
and the screenshot and the information what is happening at the low level and which thing it is getting clicked good thing about it this part when you click it it will display it in the pop up model window which is very nice and i like i like this particular feature right so it will simply show like this and whenever you click it it will show a complete dialog box of related to that information that step that particular step okay so i hope this is very uh, useful html reporter comparing with others okay and uh, we have options also right so uh, go back to your index.js okay so here we have so many options okay so if you go to here scroll down and you will find out each and every option what it does okay the theme option yes we have added the theme option you can specify the report type json file yes provide the jas of the cucumber file i mean uh, sorry json files and you can ask if we have multiple json files what is the option here this particular option json directory if you add it what it does is instead of single file you need to come over here place this option and provide the path where your json file exists right that is also a very good option if you have multiple json files and how about output provide a output provide html output in the path and name okay let's try adding this i don't think so i never used it that's okay you can ignore this okay where you want to store it that's fine and this one look, look at this this scenario we you can see type boolean okay report total number of passed failed scenario size header reports total number of passed passed failed feature size header whether you want to in the header right if you go here we have a header this header header you want to report the scenario level or feature level that option is being given we have marked as a true that is a reason that is the reason it is coming at the scenario level you want to make it as a feature level you can do that as well and for example launch report whether you want to open the html report which is generated automatically you want to open it and i would say no it is not needed especially in the jenkins or if you are putting it in the cd you don't want to have a report opened in there right in local also if you want to have it temporarily you can mark it as a true and then later on you can mark it as a false we have one more option ignore bad json files sometimes if there is an issue comes the json file may be corrupted not corrupted you say maybe something may may went wrong in that particular json file in that particular time if you say ignore any json bad files then it will continue with the remaining files to be missed for example you have five json files 1 2 3 4 5 there is issue with the third file right if you say true it will continue 1 2 4 5 and if you say false report generation fail report generation if the bad files found during the merge that means the it will fail the report generation the reports will not get generated okay so whether it is true or false i will leave up to you okay better false we do not know what happened with this particular let's say we have five json files and we may not be able to track what happened with this so leave it false or your wish if you want to keep it true okay now name so custom project name if not passed module reads the name of the pack project from the package json remember in this particular report report is giving the name as cucumber playwright js because it is taking from the packet that json and this is the name it is picking up you want to change it yes if you want you just add that particular option name and then you can create as brand title also okay if nothing is passed it will be displayed as a cucumber js project cucumber js project you want to change this title you can change it using the brand title and in the last video i made a mistake saying that okay we can specify 1 2 3 no columns when you specify it will be default to 
select one one or two columns. I think it's a max six. I think I'm not sure, but as per this, it is defaulted to two. And if you say one, only one will come. See here, two are coming, right? One, two. And if you say one, this will come down. Let's try generating this one. Add this option and try column layout. Control F column layout is one. Okay, we don't need to run. We can simply run the command npx index.ts. Okay, now this time, whenever the report generated, you should see only one after one other. So here, one, two here, right? Two we have specified. Okay, it is generated. Yes, refresh your page. You see that? So this is displayed, and after that, this is displayed. Like this, you can decide how many size you want. And uh, basically, number of rows and columns, and the column layout. Better you leave it two, which is good, looks good. One is okay. And store screenshots. If you pass it true, store the screenshots to the default directory. It creates the directory screenshot if it does not exist. So what did we keep? Did we add anything? Sorry, control F. We did not add anything here. That means that's okay because we are uh, we are storing our existing results to in the same directory. Right? It will get attached. So we don't need to worry about. And screenshot directory where the screenshots are present, you can specify that. Okay, better we specify this also. Control F screenshot directory. It is going to be slash reports. Sorry, reports slash. Okay, and what else? These are all additional options. You can go through it. You want to add some timestamp or not. And this one is what very important. And the finally, before that. Failed summary report. Remember, we are getting this one. Uh, go back to your HTML report. Just minimize it. You are able to see this failed summary report. You want this summary or not? You you can decide that by using this option. If it is true, it will come. If it is false, it will not be inserted. By default, it is going to be true. That's fine. And final option is metadata. Okay. Remember, we are adding the metadata once the execution is over. We are adding the metadata once the execution is over. But is that information is accurate? Is this a browser Chrome? The user might have selected Edge or any other browsers. Right? This information is not accurate now. So I just deleted it. I have just deleted it. But how can I how can I add these details? Some of the important details, how can I add it? Okay. So it is very simple. What I'm gonna do, see here, I will create a function. I will create a function. I will mark it as a generate HTML. HTML. Okay. Remove this and we'll try to add this to here. Okay. So here I will call generate HTML. Okay. That is fine. So what is the option we are going to add over here? We have to fill this information, right? This is an object. We can create it. Okay. So, so here options dot metadata dot chrome uh, browser equal to you can specify whatever you want that is going to be chrome okay or else you can say like this chrome wrap in metadata one minute i will tell you what is wrong just null checkpoint here Sorry, one second. Uh, I think we are making some mistake. Options that metadata. We'll add the browser type saying that this one. Yes, fine. Okay, browser and what else? Uh, let's leave it to browser only. Or else application URL also we can keep it if you want. For example, application URL. Application URL is also blank. Are we going to put it as a blank? No, we are going not going to put it as a blank. We will modify here. Okay, so now you can ask me. Okay, this is Chrome, but what is the user has selected? How how we can change it dynamically? Okay, so remember. Go to your for loop, 
we were using this dot config remember that means we can read this information in this file also yes we can read it so of course we have to import it this dot env we are good we can import it there is no mistake we have done done what else instead of browser type i will remove it and i will paste here uh, what is wrong with it it should be null check null check and how about application url application url go here we are navigating to somewhere right this one process.env.application url yes just remove it just remove it and append it how simple it is now we will run it and then we will see how the reports get generated okay this time we will not have much options here you can see a lot of options were given because we have given these options directly but in real time this is, this is not a correct data right it's a dynamic data okay so now let's try running it and see if it is coming or not okay cls and try to run the program browser is getting launched okay the execution is done it, it is generating the report now our use a browser and url should be dynamic right let's see it is generating okay it is generated go back here go back to your bootstrap or else you refresh this you're able to see browser is h and the application url is this this is from the qa right it's a qa profile okay so like this you can uh, add the information to the metadata at runtime okay so i hope it is clear and i'm not sure why the two reports got generated i'm curious to know what is wrong here anyway we'll see why it has been generated go back to your index generate html generate html everything is fine okay go back to here package.json or else i will check it later but uh, just catch the point over here is you can you need your metadata cannot be hard coded okay unless until you know that something is correct and there is no change that's fine but if it is a real time you have to manipulate like this okay so thanks for watching see you in the next lecture